Okay, out with the Signum. My uh, ST is at 10, RT 0, gain is 7. Just playing with different settings here. Little deeper target. Notice the intensity on the right. Can't pay a whole lot of attention to the hodograph, but notice that way, not so good. This way, good. So maybe we have some iron off to the left of the target. Let's check it with the S mode. That's like sort of a bottle cap check. This is so strange. I'm telling you, I checked it and it was beeping perfect. And then I, I wait, set up the camera, and it, it doesn't work. And there it goes again. And it's gone. Okay. S mode off. Sounds good. Go to polyphonic program. Polyphonic seems more sensitive to iron, so bad, bad sign. I won't bother going through all the modes. <laughs> I'm just gonna dig it. Let's see. coin. So, that's not deep. That's four inches? Maybe five inches? And it gave me that, that iron symbol a bit in there. As you saw, old, older German coin. Not real old. What is the year on that? It's a Fennig. And the year, I, I think it's like 70s or something maybe make that out. 1950, is that right? Let's uh, check the, the coin. Let me put this plug back in and check the ground to see if there was some iron causing that ID to be off like that. Nine. Ten. Ten. Thirteen. Okay, so let's say uh, Roughly 10. Let's check the hole. Put on all metal, I mean pinpoint. Nothing. Ah, there. Iron. I have it set really low to make it manageable. So the hole was full of iron. I'll say this this machine is really sensitive with iron. It'll pick out a good target within iron, but you can't really depend on like the hodograph uh, or the uh, the bottle cap check with iron. I, I, it's, I'm getting such mixed signals, so I'd suggest you uh, are really careful with relying too much on anything. Anyway, hope that was helpful.